1982 was the first year in which the lethal injection had been used to kill a criminal in the United States. Before this pioneering moment, the nation's favorite mode of execution was the electric chair, which is, today, widely regarded as torture. It was so violent, sometimes the victim's eyeballs would pop out and rest on their cheeks. It regularly set hair on fire, leading guards to stash extinguishers nearby just in case. The electric chair was not the human execution miracle that Thomas Edison touted. He promoted it as he toured the US by shocking stray animals to death in front of crowds that came to see him. This punishment that sounds like it's from a bad horror movie in 1975, criminals unlucky enough to have this sentence, were known to catch fire, give off charred flesh smells as they died, and often took more than the easy two joys that were supposed to kill them quickly. The lethal inaction was hailed as kinder and more technologically advanced with no blood and no screaming. But death penalty critics also argue that the lead up to lethal inaction can be cruel and unusual. On some occasions, prison employees have struggled to find usable veins on inmates, resulting in drawn out executions. On 2009 execution of convicted rapist and murderer Romer Baum, actual failed after execution team gave up searching for a vein after two hours of trying. The guillotine was named after the French doctor Joseph Ignace Guillotine. In 1789, the year of the storming of Bastille in Paris, he proposed to the French National Assembly introducing this decapitation machine. Guillotine's main reason for this was that decapitation using the guillotine would be more humane. The inclined brain would fall so rapidly that that would be almost painless. Unfortunately for many executed prisoners throughout history, hanging is easy to botch. If the fall is too long, the person said, might come right off. If the fall isn't long enough, the rope cuts off breathing and blood flow through the carotid arteries in the neck. The loss of consciousness due to lack of blood to the brain should be quick and so should death. But that isn't always the case. After many gruesome 30 minute long straining, the public lost their appetite for hanging in the early 19s. Though some states kept firing squad and hanging, electrocution remained the predominant method of state execution for much of the 20th century. After the court upheld capital punishment in 1976, lethal inaction was eventually adopted in most states, yet again in an effort to find a more humane way to carry out death sentences. As practiced today in the United States, firing squad executions are carried out by five anonymous gunmen, one of which has a rifle loaded with wax dummy bullet, so none can ever know if there was the fatal shot. The condemned person is strapped to the chair and surrounded by sandbags to prevent the bullets from ricocheting. Either nitrogen or helium asphyxia is one of the most humane ways. Now, the reason why I say this is human, because the human lungs are kind of stupid. They don't detect lack of oxygen, but only carbon dioxide. By making the subject breathe helium or nitrogen, we can fool the lungs into thinking it's breathing oxygen, when in reality, the body is being suffocated. All that would happen to the subject is that they would become tired, fall asleep, become unconscious and eventually die. The subject wouldn't even notice. This is quite a fast method and is completely painless, thus making it a highly humane execution method. Other way would be simply kill through gradually administrated overdose of some opioid, such as morphine. The Nevada Department of Corrections used fentanyl in a three-part drug combination. Nevada turned to fentanyl for an execution because the state had no other drugs to carry out a little inaction after a pharmaceutical industry opposition to the use of their products in executions. What do you think, which is the most human way of execution? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Thanks.